Tonight, a dozen lawmakers in the Texas House are calling on the Texas Association of Business to retract a study suggesting the transgender bathroom bill would cause the state to lose billions of dollars. That study was conducted by MBA students at St. Edward's University in Austin. KXAN's Aaron Cargill has more on the results and reaction from both sides. Fear-mongering. Fear-mongering is what that report is about. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick calling a bathroom bill study promoted by the Texas Association of Business false and full of hearsay after PolitiFact Texas, a fact-checking website that rates the accuracy of claims, gave the study a rating of mostly false. The study projected a loss of $8.5 billion to the Texas economy and a loss of 185,000 jobs. One factor playing into the poor score, a projection the Super Bowl in Houston would be moved to another state. We had the greatest Super Bowl ever. No economic impact. That's like real facts. We do stand behind the study. TAB President Chris Wallace says the $8.5 billion prediction is just a range, and several economists put their stamp of approval on the study's findings. All of them said there's going to be great economic impact. So the bottom line is there's going to be great economic impact. It's just a matter of how much. The author of the Texas Privacy Act says their own polling shows the majority of the state is on board and the majority of senators will be on her side. I think that we, we have broad support and in fact, uh, you know, I, I will tell you that um, I'm, I'm very confident in the vote. Aaron Cargile, KXAN News. Patrick did not provide details about how that poll was conducted, but a University of Texas, Texas Tribune poll found 51% of Texans support people choosing bathrooms based on their birth and not their gender identity. And for anyone wondering if a loss of business is possible, North Carolina is in line to lose collegiate sporting events through 2022. That's according to the Charlotte Observer, as the Raleigh Sports Alliance sent out a letter to state lawmakers. A deal to repeal the law in December fell through, and now officials claim is NCAA is ready to pull out more than 130 bids for hosting events in North Carolina if that state's version of the bathroom bill remains on the books. The Raleigh Sports Alliance says that impact alone could be more than $120 million. The NCAA yanked seven championship events, including men's college basketball games from the state calendar last year. The NBA pulled the All-Star game this month from Charlotte and then moved it to New Orleans. And a number of businesses also voiced concern or even pulled out of North Carolina because of that bill. All right, Jim.